It's time for Fin Friday, which we have to do. Oh, I know, which we have to do inside today. Can you tell them why? Tell them it's raining. Say, guys, it's raining. So, inside Fin Friday. We're going to the snow dogs. Hello, I am Elle, and this is Archer's Puppy Adventures on Instagram, and it is time for Fan Friday. Archer, hike. And before we get started, I just want to point out that Shelby is on Oakley's new bed. We got this giant new bed for Oakley. Memphis is on the other side of it. And where is Oakley? Right there. Good job using your new bed, girl. <laughs> Torto4567 says, are you guys going to be doing another giveaway? Actually, we're doing a giveaway right now. If you go back and watch Wednesday's video, we're actually doing a giveaway of some of the merch from our, our store in Wednesday's video. So go check it out. Memphis, are you enjoying your antler? We have a question from Beoth, a question I get asked a lot. Will my two-month-old husky learn to be off-leash and not run away if I keep them off-leash now that they're young? I am not an off-leash advocate. I don't believe that there's any reason that your husky needs to be off-leash ever unless they're in a fenced-in area. I do believe that all huskies should be trained recall, so your dog should know how to come when called, but is there a reason for them to need to be off-leash? No, there isn't. Because they're stubborn, Yes, you are. I know you are. You're stubborn. That's a super up-close nose shot. Thanks for that, Shelby. And you may think that they are trained, and you may think they know to come when called. Really? But it only takes a second for them to forget and to take off and get hit by a car or have something bad happen. So, yeah. No, they don't need to be off leash. Apparently we're going to wrestle for Inside Fan Friday. That sounds like a good idea. Wrestle on Oakley's bed. Oakley's like, meh. This crazy puppies can wrestle. <laughs> Jenny Beth said, do you have any good resources for dog friendly hotels? Whenever we've had to stay in a hotel with dogs, I literally just do a Google search of the city we're staying at and uh, type dog friendly after it. And that's how I have found the dog-friendly hotels we stay at. Rah, rah, rah. I think if you go to Expedia.com, you can actually click on the side. You can click pets, and it'll only show you uh, hotels that are pet-friendly. So that might be another option for you. I know because she's been chewing on it all this video. Somebody's going to ask in the comments, where do you get the antlers? We actually get them, we sell them ourselves. Um, if you go to gonetothesnowdogs.com and click on supply shop, you can order antlers directly from us. Memphis loves her antlers. She sure does. Bless you. You all right? You gonna sneeze again? You good? Good. Brittany says, how much did Shiloh weigh? Our little girl is four months old and only 25 pounds. 25 pounds at four months old, that's crazy. Uh, we have a friend that has a husky that's the same age and twice as big, that's insane. A four month old husky that weighs 50 pounds. Huskies are not supposed to be that big. Female huskies should not be over 55 pounds. Is it 55 or 50? 55 pounds, I think it is. 35 to 55, and boys are supposed to be 40 to 60. Yeah, they're not supposed to be big. They're not big dogs. They're medium-sized dogs. Me Droid! Medium-sized dogs. For those of you that asked last, last Fan Friday what the heck that noise was, that's my phone. That's my phone that goes off and says droid. <laughs> Speaking on the weight of a husky, Della left a comment and said, I've had huskies for over 40 years and they keep getting smaller and smaller. Why? My first husky was bigger than the German Shepherd and now they only weigh 50 pounds and are no bigger than a Border Collie. What gives? If you actually look at the history of the breed, huskies that are bred to breed standard are not big dogs. Malamutes are the bigger ones. Huskies are supposed to be medium-sized dogs, I'm telling you. If you look at the breed history, they're actually supposed to be a medium-sized dog. For real, I promise. We got some mayo, we got some mayo. Oakley, you wanna come check out the mayo? We're doing it over here. <laughs> we got some mayo from Emily. There is her YouTube channel, and here is some of what Emily sent us. Emily sent us a couple of drawings. This one is of Memphis, and it says, how old is Memphis and when is her birthday? She is two years old, and her birthday is on April the 4th. This one is of Oakley, and it says, how many times do you need to groom Oakley every five months since she's so fluffy? We tried to brush her just about every day, or two or three days, because she is so fluffy. 
And here's a drawing of Shiloh and it said, did Shiloh inspire you to get Shelby or did you just want to get another dog? No, you are absolutely right. Shiloh completely inspired us to get Shelby. If it wasn't for Shiloh, we probably never would have got Shelby or any of the other dogs. But Shiloh was the inspiration for Shelby. I hear you, Oakley. And then how long have you had Shelby for? Shelby just turned eight years old and uh, so we've had her eight years. Yeah, about eight years. Hey, beautiful. And we got an awesome letter from Jaden. And we got a letter from Brianna. And Brianna wants us to tell you guys about the Feelin' Fine Canine and Equine Rescue, who is located near her and may be closing soon. So if you guys want to go check them out on Facebook and see what you can do to help, to maybe help this rescue not have to close, you should definitely go do that. And we got a letter and a drawing, a couple drawings from Phoebe in Australia. There is some drawings of the dogs looking like my little ponies there's some more drawings on the back here corgis is that what that says that's cute and a couple more my little pony my little husky drawings i'm a big my little pony fan that's why we did the my little pony my little husky design inspired by my little pony and we got a letter and a coloring from ashley and we got some awesome artwork from Heidi. That's really cute with all their paws. I really like that. <gasps> Who stole the antler? Somebody stole the antler. You don't look like Memphis to me. She steal your antler. That antler thief. <laughs> all right, you guys. That's all we have for Fan Friday today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. As always, if we did not answer your question, I'm sorry. You can try again and hopefully we will answer it in one of the future episodes of Fan Friday. If you have not done so yet, on Monday we put up a video of the girls, all of the girls, going shopping at Pet Supplies Plus in Gaylord, Michigan, which was a heck of a lot of fun. And on Wednesday we put up a video where we are doing a giveaway of some of our merchandise from our Spreadshirt store, including the My Little Husky design. Uh, so you can go to Wednesday's video and there's a link to get entered into the contest so you can try to win some merch from our store. Other than that, I think that's all we have. Um, I did start a new Instagram for our vlog channel, which is Snow Dogs Vlogs. The Instagram is also Snow Dogs Vlogs. So now you can follow us on Instagram at Gone to the Snow Dogs and at Snow Dogs Vlogs, which there'll be different pictures because one's for the dogs and one's for us. So I, I think you get the point. Do they get the point? You really like Oakley's bed, don't you? Oakley has not used this bed yet. The other two have used it quite a bit, so I guess it's a community bed. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we'll see you soon. Say goodbye. Oh, big yawn. You say bye. I love you.